right. Um, I'm gonna start this video, and I'm well. First of all, I'm gonna name it "Closer to My Dream." Um, I made a video last night. Gone. If you crossing shit, you too old to be doing your motherfucking ass across the street. Then if I hit you, then I'm on the fucking news. Shit. Yeah, y'all. Um, this video right here is called "Closer to My Dreams," and the reason that I um, decided to come up with this video is that I was talking to my YouTube niece, Miani. Um, y'all probably know her as Barbadian261. And she was talking about decisions and life choices and, you know, doing and following your dreams and passions. Now, I am going to say this video is just not for mothers, but it is you know, to to give an insight on um, being a mother. And what I mean by that is we really, really, I'm at the post office, really, 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 really forget that we are human. You know, we are mothers before we're anything. I know all of that. But at the same time, I'm a person. I forgot. I thought once you start having children, your your life pretty much, I don't want to say stop, but stop. You know, I am, I have to make sure that my children have, and I have to make sure that they're happy, and I have to make sure, I understand all of that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I was not following my dreams. And I was not following my passion. And I was not doing what I love. And I was not doing any of that. Where, you know, just because I'm someone's mother does not mean that I forget that I'm a person. Yes, I am obligated to take care of my children. I am obligated to make sure that they have the best you know, um, life that I can give them, but aren't I also obligated to make sure I have the best life I can give me? You know, I never want to be in, you know, on my deathbed and, um, think about all the things that I could have done, or I should have done, or I wish I would have done. You know, I don't want to live a life half unfulfilled because I am a mother. And I know that I cannot jump out as quick as somebody who does not have children um, because I got to make sure, you know, other people are taken care of. But I am also going to make myself accountable for what I want to do. You know, I love volunteer work. And I love to do it because I do it for free. Um, I haven't been doing that in a while. I haven't went to any volunteer events. I have not been working with the homeless. You know, I haven't been doing any of my passions. Um, as y'all know, I love to talk. I have not did my talk show radio since my grandmother was living with me. Um... I have not been doing what makes me smile. And I don't like when I don't do what makes me smile. So, um, I actually had a chance to do public access radio, I mean television, which when I had signed up for the Oprah Winfrey contest, she didn't want us to be affiliated with any other television, some, 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 so I really did not, um, go for that, because I was trying out for her show, but I am, um, going back, put my bid in for like a nine o'clock slot, and I'm really, really gonna have to tame my potty mouth, because, um, I can't curse on public access television, but like my girl Androgynous, Androgynous One, I think it's Androgynous One, said, like Monique said, I like to cuss. 
I like how the shit tastes in my mouth. I do like the curse. But I know on um, public access TV, you can't cuss. But I'm storing back my radio talk show, and I keep saying it. But I'm like, it's something that's keeping me from it. But every time I feel that I'm getting closer to my dreams, I do something, and I fucks it up. I sabotage myself, and I know that that's something that I am going to have to work with because I told you I don't I ain't worried about failing. Okay, shit. But I I I don't know if I don't want to let go of this me- mediocre life. I don't know if I'm so used to humping and struggling. What would I do when I don't have to? You know what I'm saying? But I'm reading this book. Man, I'm going to I'm gonna do a whole damn video about this book. I'm going to do that tomorrow or tonight. But, yeah, um, I know that I'm not working my passion. I'm not doing my passion, but I know that I do help a lot of people, you know, at my job. And then on the side, I do my debt consolidation, financial counseling thing. So, you know, and a lot of times it's for you know, people that I know personally, and I don't even charge them anything, you know, I may say, well, if you on your way over here, you know, bring all your bills, bring your checksters, bring your W-2s, bring every dollar that you spend, I put them on the budget for two weeks just to see where their money going, bring bank statements, and bring me a box of rice, chicken fried rice with broccoli, that's all I'm going to charge you, because I know that for real, we ain't got no money, you know what I'm saying, you ain't got no money to pay a bill, so I know you ain't got no money to pay me. And um, that that's one of my passions is to help people. I'm a humanitarian. I'm an Aquarius. That's what I do. So um, look out for me doing my Keisha moments. Y'all going to catch me back, you know, volunteering slowly but surely before the end of the year. I'm going to be back in, in Keisha mode. You know, I get so consumed with other people and other things and what my key is doing and what my mama doing and I'm only going to be accountable for me when it comes to my happiness. I'm going to take care of my kids. I mean, that's just what I do. You know, they in soccer, I got to pay for it. They in volleyball, my daughter went and signed up for caparetta. I ain't even know what the fuck caparetta is, like a martial arts dance type situation. They signs up for shit. I got to pay for the shit. But, I mean, hey, you know, that's what mamas do. Um, But mamas also have to say, I am a woman first. I need to make sure I'm happy first. I have to please myself first. I am worth it first. I deserve it first. You know, we get so, well, as long as my kids happy, I'm happy. As long as they got on new clothes, I'm cool. As long as they got this, I'm all right. Fuck no. You lying. That's a lie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying you be Gucci'd out and your kids got on some, some buddies. That ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is respect your person. Respect your soul. Okay, I got to feed these kids, but I'm going to do what I like to do on the side, even if I have to volunteer at it first, even if I got to be an apprentice to somebody first, even if I got to crawl before I walk first. I have to know that when I'm 80 and 100 years old, I can say that this was a life well led to the best of my ability, to the best of my know-how. You know, I'm not going to say I know everything. And even when people ask me questions, I'm not a licensed therapist. I could just give you some of this hood mother wit that I got, and I just go on from there. But um, we are all here to teach and help each other. And reading your comments and answering your question, Miani, made me know that I was not being truthful about my passion. I forgot all about my fucking passion. You know, and um, I want to speak also... My girl Chantel, the one I told y'all about, um, may ask me to make a video on if he's a good man. Damn, if he's a good man, but not the man for me. So uh, that is actually a topic that I do want to speak on because I got uh, two videos I want to make about that. So um, any other requests? You know, y'all got, just shoot them to me. I want to thank all of y'all for y'all blessed words and comments. Thank y'all for waking me up. Thank y'all for making me realize, you know, I 
I can go higher than this. I can, um, what's her name? Ladisi? I guess it's Ladisi. It's in my favorites. It's a song called, uh, 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 uh. What Can Be Higher Than This? What Can Be Higher Than This? Da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm a favorite at again today, so y'all can peep it. It's one of my favorite songs. She said, I took a look in the mirror, and um, pretty much I'm the reflection of the great one they call I am. You know what I'm saying? I fuck up the words and shit. But, man, the song is just a bomb. We forget that we are connected to the most high. In my father's house is a many mansions. If it wasn't true, he wouldn't have told me. That just All that saying is, all this shit is mine. All this shit could be yours. If you for real know what you want, be serious about it and diligent about it. That's all they're saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get all churchy and shit, but that's one of my favorite Bible quotes. In my father's house, it's a mini mansion. If my daddy got shit, don't you think I'm in shit? Come on now. Is that my uncle? No. If I got shit, my daddy got shit, I got shit. Like if I got shit, my kids got shit. If I got shit, y'all got shit. We family. We all connected. That's why when I mention shit, they be sounding so fucked up. Everybody be like, me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. Because we all are connected. I got to get out of here, y'all. But I love y'all. And I know this videotape is going to cut out. But I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.